In this video, I'm going to show you how to remove and replace the power steering return line on a Jeep Wrangler with a 2.4 liter located in the engine compartment. So the power steering reservoir is located right here on the coolant fan shroud. So we're going to take the fluid that's in there out. So it just makes a little bit less of a mess. So I have a little siphon hose tool thing and I'm just going to see if I can take most of that fluid out. Now, if your leak is anything like this leak, quite a few bit of the fluid already came out. And I have a catch basin and I'm just gonna drain it in there. I also have a catch basin down below. So that's gonna help anything that spills on the floor. I'm just gonna put this on there to stop any dirt or debris from going in. So this is the return hose without the metal end, which is gonna replace the rubber hose. And I'm gonna take a pair of pliers, take that clamp off. Let's see if we can get down in there. Slide that up. Now I'm gonna take the clamp off the top. Slide that down. I have a catch basin down below, so I'm ready to twist and pull off. I'm gonna pull it off from the bottom first, so less fluid on me. Well, it looks like we got all the fluid. So once the clamp is out of the way, I recommend taking a razor blade and slicing it. That way you don't twist the plastic and break it, because it could be frail, because you're getting a new hose anyways. So I'm just completely pull that off. If you have to cut it twice, cut it twice. Now, I like to take the new hose, bring it over to the old one, and just kind of give it a quick measurement, measure it out, see how long I need to cut it to, maybe go just a smidge over, and I'm just going to cut that hose right. I'm going to get new clamps too, because why not, it's new, right? Let's make it nice and clean. Time for a new blade. Now we're going to take this over with new clamps and install it. Put it on the steel tube first. All right, once it's bottomed out, get a new clamp. Bring a new clamp down. That's a six millimeter or a flathead screwdriver. Always bring your clamp down and get it. You'll feel the ridge in that steel line. Okay, so once you feel that ridge, I'm gonna put my socket on. Okay, it's snugged. So I'm gonna install the new cl clamp on it. So now let's grab the hose and line it up and push it right on. So now we're going to line the hose clamp up. Okay. Tighten that up. Make sure you're above the indent on the actual reservoir. Just snug it up. It's perfect. So as you can see, it says use approved power steering fluid. Check your manual. In this case, it does take full synthetic transmission fluid, and we're gonna fill this up and then run it and check for leaks. 
when only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.